What up? What up? Get on to the most high. Oh, my camera look like it's gonna stay. It ain't gonna stay. Look at it. I don't know why it disappeared. And I can't see shit. Nothing. Give on to the most high. Blessing me for another day to me get up, man. Open my eyes. Rub on my legs. Touch my fine, sweet wife. Bed, rub on her. You rub me. She woke up. Rub back on me. So I bless. Her. Thank you. Thank you. Give honor, give honor to him. Then I go in there and touch my kids. Pray over them. Man, it's a blessing. Then I had to work, play with my dogs, and that's a joy. Hey, it's the blessing, man. And get up and be this, man. Ain't nothing more better than this. Peaceful, peaceful blessings all around me, man. When you wake up, you got blessings all around you. See, so that's what we ought to be thankful for. Everything we need is right in front of us. Right around it, but we're so close to it that we don't see it. We find all the lack instead of finding what we have and, and make some out of it. Be a creative, make some out of your things, man. But we choose to look at what we don't have and complain about that. Hey, I love you, but hey, let's make a difference. Listen to me, man. I'm going to tell you this. I've been on this Facebook thing, my journey. The most high blessing me to get on here and be courageous to talk to you and try to give game to everyone. I'm going to be moving soon. I'm going to Word on the Streets, locked in page. The page is locked in. You got to be members again and give this good information because we're going to go heavy next year, man. We dropping some stuff. I done dropped some, man, for real. I done dropped some golden nuggets. I done gave you game. I done told you how to build your credit, big business, all this stuff, how to get your mind right. I done told a lot of things about your family, just things, man, that I done seen that I go through, but it's over. Get off this page and get on Word on the Streets. Start giving it to people that deserve it and want it. So you want to be a member, man, let's go and get on there. I'm telling you. Then I go from there. Then I go to YouTube. I'm telling you. So I get so, I get so much free to you, man, to tell you how to win in this world, man. It's so much easy, step-by-step, step, play playbook. I don't watch people do it. I don't pay for courses. I don't pay for this to know this information. So I don't have a problem because knowledge is way more powerful. And you looking at the person next to you, you think they have money, they have this. They don't have it. They just look rich. It ain't far. You ain't far from them. I promise you, you're not that far from them. You just don't know the rule of the game. And it got to be a game. I told you five strategies. You got to get what your next five moves. I told you, man, what you focus on. I told you so much credit. But I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to get off of that. Hey, that Weber, uh, uh, my credit card, I got to drop that down. Weber app will show you how to get stock. Man, they give me free stock, fresh shares, and ten, two free stocks to get you started with your stock market. Man, it's, if you want to try something. You know what I'm saying? Go learn and research something. You can start there, man, with that. So I gave you that, too, for free. But going forward, man, we're going to be dropping this stuff in the world on the streets. If you ain't a member, you won't receive it. So, man, that's what. But let me tell you, we go get on this last one by credit. Credit profile. Credit score versus credit profile. <laughs> Everybody worry about their credit score. My credit score is not working. I don't know. I've been trying to be the thing. Be playing with me going up and down and round and round and I just don't understand this I understand it so you worry about this score then you get a score off of credit karma and all this stuff don't even, they playing with your emotions man everything you see is to make money off of you playing with your emotions to make money off even putting that score on it that's an emotional thing that somebody's doing better than you and you got to have a certain score to feel good let me tell you something. I know people got 800, 850. I really, I laugh at them. The ones that don't know, they tell me that I got 800. So I just say, well, what that, what do that mean? What do you mean? What you mean? I say, what do that mean? You got 800, 850, seven. What do that mean? Well, it's just that pretty, ain't it? Well, I can go get whatever I want. I can go get whatever I want. But the goal is what I want what I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? So just say you got 800, 850, but you got a car, you had a house, you're doing the thing. So what's after that? See, because when you get to that school, it's, it's trying to keep that. You got to keep that school. Then you got to keep from people that are trying to get that, still that, all that. So now what? What's the next move? So we got people that don't understand credit and all that trying to fight to get to that score. And they ready to pay people. They ready to do all these scandalous scheme and stuff. And all they got to do is try to learn something about credit. Something simple. Just keep it simple. 
but you're looking at a score that you don't really understand that you what you're looking at and what you got it for. Because I know people got 700 credit score can't get nothing. So what do that mean? It must be their credit profile. Hmm? It must be that. It got to be. Because see, like me, I'm, I'm going to say what happened to me. My credit score, like I said, I don't. I don't worry about it because I'm not buying nothing now. I'm building this, building to get something else. I'm not worrying about that. So I'm not even worrying about no credit, personal credit score anyway because I'm trying to work my business. So let me show you the game. So I'm sitting here. I got a, uh, had a loan with a company. I mean, with my bank, Credit Union Bank. I look on my thing, my score drop. I'm like, well, that's the only thing I use my score for. What did it drop for? I go look at my credit profile. Oh, they say I got a $6 on some loan I didn't pay which wasn't true but the point is my score dropped 80 points now see some of y'all would have cut y'all wrist you to saw that 80 because I see how y'all act 80 points oh my god why what are they doing now now 80 points I ain't tripping I ain't buying nothing I know that ain't true so I called the bank I disputed all three credit bureaus then I called the bank Hey, look here, credit union. What y'all doing? You know, I looked at my payments. Tell me what you see. You know, okay. What do I do? Send this email with a copy of that picture. That we'll take care of that, Mister Fletcher. Thank you very much. Done. Cause I ain't worried about no score. I'm worried about my credit profile. See, when you trying to go into business, everybody ain't trying to go into business. Cause you don't understand. You barely understand credit. They understand trying to go to that business credit. See, it's just levels on these things. Levels. But anyway, we worry about our credit score so bad. That you really should be worrying about your credit profile. The things you have on your credit. Like say, people got student loans. I hear people say, oh, I got student loans. See, right when I hear that, let me tell you what I hear. I'm in, in uh, debt. I haven't paid it. I'm in trouble. I haven't been making payments. Because if you got a credit student loan, as long as you up to date with your payments, they got all kind of programs that you can have because I done done it. They got programs and stuff. So if you're doing these programs and you up to date on you, it really don't matter about it because you got student loan debt. But you the people that say, see, even when people say, what's your credit score? <sighs> they get like that. Why? You showed me right there. I already know what it is when you do that. You worry about the score. See, it's emotions. You ain't, it's emotions all into it. It's embarrassing. That's what we're worried about. What people, again, I talked about that earlier. We worry about what everybody else doing and what they think and all in their lane, not in ours. But I say, now, why are you going to worry about a credit score? Because you ain't doing it but looking at credit card or them free apps. You don't even know it's that accurate. Then you don't even know what that score uses. What am I getting, trying to get a car, a house, credit card? It's different way things I'm trying to do. What I'm positioning myself. Again, what's your next five move? All this stuff is about what you position yourself for. So when I say credit score, credit profile, so we go to your credit profile. You know, let's just think about it. I'm looking at your credit profile. I'm looking at, okay, two to five years. So what we do, we want something right away. And we go say, hey, what can I do to fix my credit? I'm trying to buy something right now. Not a damn thing. Oh, you don't want to hear that. So you, because it's coming from somebody, yo, oh, that's not true. I'd have heard on YouTube. You can then you go pay somebody. Then you go through the process and you got to do a little work, and then they take you. You come back and say they took my money. They took my money. I don't understand why they did me like that. Now you mad at the whole system. Now you don't want to get do this, and I'm not dealing with it. Your emotions in the way. Your emotions are all in the way. And that person with, 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 was sitting there with you could have told you, he saw you too. He say, he let you open your mouth, be quiet, let you talk. He just see, when you're talking, he just saying, really. And I'm not calling nobody dumb. He just saying, look how dumb is he. I'm going to go ahead and take all them. Now, the person that knows a little bit something, I'm going to hit him for this. But this was just really dumb. I'm going to get all that money. I'm going to take them to the ring. I'm going to roll them all around. I'm going to tell them about this and that, how they can get this. And I'm going to sell them a dream to keep them on so they can pay my bills for months. That's what they do. And because you don't have the knowledge, that's what you have. And then a person like me get on here that you know, that you done seen, grow and do these things, get on here and tell you. You don't want it. You want to go pay somebody. I got it.
then you like I said it's all feelings and stuff like you said you don't understand credit just all you have to do say i really don't understand this i'm trying to figure it out and can you help me it's that simple i don't know something but you go people you know i'll be wrong talk to people call me and they'll tell me well this is what i'm doing for me i'm doing and don't know nothing ain't worked out nothing and you have the nurse see that's why i said i didn't train people when i pay people that i just trained in the gym when they said that statement right there i don't want your money i don't want nothing from you because you know everything and a person that know everything cannot grow a person that know everything would not have nothing and i don't want to be a part of it see i don't mind not somebody challenging me tell me because i'm a learner listen please tell me I've been on here. If I'm wrong saying something wrong, come tell me. We can work it out. I'm going to come back and say, man, I was wrong. But I know about credit. And I'm telling you, it's an emotional thing. And we don't understand it. And if you go in there waiting at last minute talking about you want to get something and try to fix something, you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen like that. See, I done bought a house and stuff, and I had to come to a point they had found something on my credit. Not that day several years ago and they come and say miss fletcher what happened here oh this is what happened i'm gonna write a statement for that can you write a statement explain to us what happened i sure can write this statement turn it in mm. i went through the process about two a uh, couple of three homes several cars multiple credit cards multiple business credit cards business loans did something in the beginning, did something wrong. From the growth of me going, man, I did it wrong, and I done, so I do something I ain't right. So I done did these things. I took the walk. And then you'll meet somebody that ain't did nothing that's going through life, bump a car, bumping and everything, and try to tell them, and they're going to say, well, this is what I do. This is how it works for me. How did that work for you? Okay. Because you're worried about a credit score when you need to be looking at your credit profile. And then another thing about us, we need to pay our bills. At the end of the day, think about this. If I'm, I'm sitting here, you are your own bank. Somebody come to you that you've been knowing in your family that I ain't never paid nothing. Come to you and say, hey, man, I need to borrow about $2,000, $3,000, $5,000. You, you're not, you going to say, man, hell no. But you want to get over and think it's a hustle. Man, let me tell you, man, this is what people are doing. I'm a hustle. You want to get over on somebody and do it and think it's going to work out that way. I done had people that helped talking about it's a bill on there from their old bar fare and they just refused not to pay it. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars is stopping you from going moving on. That's emotional. See, I learned a long time ago, man, my partner told me it's two people keep you to you. Regular keep and business keep. Regular keep gonna give everything emotion and just all cry. Oh, just give it to him. I can't nah, but business keep it. Nah, hell no. We ain't doing that. Take care of that. Two different people. And most of y'all don't want to be business. You don't want to have business. And it's simple. We make this. Uh, you sitting there trying to figure things out how to get over. That's our culture. We trying to figure out how can I get over. Instead of doing it right in the long run that is going to come. Take the time. So if I tell you, hey, it's going to take you two years to get to your mind. Oh, I can't wait two years. Two years is going to come. Or it's going to take you a year. What if it's long, short? At least you start the process. It's all depending on you, what you willing to do. I tell you, go set up a budget. You ain't going to know, man. man you got to understand. I, and we got to listen. You ain't going to give up nothing. You want it all. You ain't want, willing to make sacrifices. You ain't willing to pay nobody to teach you something. You ain't willing to take the time out. But you learn about credit and be people out here robbing you, man. Everybody, listen to me, man. This world is here. This well-tuned engine that I love, the USA, is an engine. It runs smooth, and it, but it got rules to it, and you don't know the rules, and you just getting played. And like you say, the only the strong going to survive. The well-knowledged people going to survive it. Your group, you have to get with the right groups. I've been saying this, man. This stuff is going to be that you're going to have to be a part of a group. You're not going to be able to survive out there by yourself. You don't have to listen to me. I'm gone. 
I was trying to help you, baby. That's all I'm trying to do. Go ahead and listen to the one. You've been listening to the whole time and look at your life and see where it's taking you. Look at yourself, even your spouse. Hey, baby, we've been doing it this way the whole time. Have you benefited at all from that? It's the time to change the way we're doing things. That way it's not working. The world, you don't even know the world is changing right in your eyes. You don't even see it, that you can't do it the same way no more. You can't play that hustle shit no more. You can't be holding on to money like that no more. You plan, this is the thing that get me. You get a credit card. Somebody tell me, I got a credit card and I make the payment. I pay, I let, I keep a balance on there. I keep a balance on there. Your credit card is 15 to 24 percent that you paying. Tell me where you're getting 15 to 24 percent interest on anything that you're doing. You're not putting nothing in the, even if you put putting your money in the uh, stock market, you ain't getting 15 to 24 percent. You will keep a balance on it instead of paying your stuff out. I want to keep the car. To do what? Then I tell you, you 30% utilization. Well, I use, I use 10. I use 5. I use, oh, oh, man, look, look, okay. You don't even understand. You can go ahead and max that card out as long as it paid off by the statement date. You find out what a statement date is and then pay it off. They won't even see it. They do it once a month. You don't understand what you're doing. Then I tell you about, hey, man, get you some uh, your travel, get you some uh, cash back. You ain't listening. But these people making money, man. Multi-million. It's a billion-dollar business. Credit repair. Credit cards. Credit karma. And I tell you, it ain't about y'all. It's about the young people. All you have to do is start your young kid off right. Get them a self-account. Get them a kickoff account. Get them a secure credit card. Put $500 on a secure credit card. Tell them you 30% of it. That, that divide 30, I mean, time 30% of 500. That's all they can use. Put gas or just you stop and just start building that. Then, and then if you want, add your own. Use your credit card. And give it to them. But don't put them on uh, authorized use. Don't give them the card and let it go. But. You know, I don't know nothing. And then you say, Keith, well, I already know that. Okay, so what else you know? Then you go ahead and use your credit card. You that, use, they got their credit good. You got your credit good. You got their income. You got your income. Now let's group. That's a group. Now we go bill. But see, it don't matter if you get them credit cards. It don't matter if you get them loans. If you don't have nothing to use it for, what you going to get it for? To go buy some cars or tennis shoes or uh, what for? See, you don't have a plan. Then you're going to go buy that biggest house, the car, to show off to your people and don't even have a plan after that. Then you wonder why you'll be right back in the same situation. Like I say, looking at that credit score instead of looking at your credit profile. You don't even know the rules, what they're doing about, what they said about the uh, uh, insurance, I mean, uh, medical bills. What's the rules of these things they doing now? People getting them over. Hey, get your CPA and get them. Uh, no, no. What about them credit card numbers? Keep that fake identity thing. You gonna go to jail? But man, I know somebody work. It probably work for them. But you gonna go to jail? You'd be the one to go to jail. Why would you risk that if you got a full? You see, but you ain't got no plan. You just try to listen to somebody, and you are gonna pay somebody, and then you are gonna be mad. Cause you don't understand the game. How you gonna do something? You don't even understand the game. See, God don't deal with co a confusion. He, he very simple, man. It's simple. But we want all this confusion and all this stuff. We got money. And we got money. Won't even pay the credit card. We got money. I don't want to pay my credit cards out, but because I, I don't want to lose all money. What? That's somebody scared of money, don't know money, scared. That's me. See, when you saying that, that means you have a broke mindset, for real. I'm telling you that. That money is really paper. It's really monopoly money, man. It's not backed by nothing. That money frustrates. Inflation is doing it. And you're going to hold on that money, but the credit card hitting you for 20, 15 to 24%. And you can't, if you save for now for 45 years, Say five hundred dollars, you'll be man billionaire. I mean ten billion you'd be like ten million dollars at fifteen, twenty-four percent. 
And that's what you're doing. Y'all making them credit card people rich. 1% of that 50, man, is killing the game, man. We're making too many people rich because we don't know because you're not smart enough to know that. You're trying to tell me you are. How are you? How are you going to let somebody tell you to keep some balance on that pay? Well, you can pay it off every month. Then you don't even know why you're doing it. Well, I'm trying to build my credit. What? Go get yourself a go secure a credit. Go get your uh, uh, unsecured secure uh, uh, credit card. Put your five hundred dollars. Put it on and start working your credit up. Just like a business, man. You got ten thousand, fifty thousand. I, I, man, you can go put right now to the bank and say, I'm gonna put that secured on my own money and start drawing, make it off my own money. It's a game out there, man. But I'm done giving it to you. Don't worry about it. They say you want to be in it. Come to word on the streets. We giving it to you. I'm gonna drop that uh uh self out. Self is man. I'm gonna tell you that self is what you can get us unsecured. They set you up. Put a trade line. A trade line is what you call when you're on your credit. Put trade lines. They're putting trade lines on your uh thing. So let's say like this. You got all this bad credit. So what you want to do is start adding trade lines. To push them down. Well, I know they keep. But I'm talking about positive trade lines. So that's what people do. They will start getting their friends. Hey, we you use your credit card. You got your old history. That's what they be making the money. They charge people for that. Then you see that you go online and pay for all that stuff. When I would pay. You don't know what's real or not. But that's what you do. You go pay. Because you want to do something right away. You got this big old master plan in your head that you're going to do this and take over the world with this credit. You're not because you don't understand. If I say, what's your next five moves? You ain't sitting back thinking about nothing. You just did. They just feeding you that stuff on that YouTube and you just sucking it in and then you ready to go. I know I've been there. I understand. See, what well, you need to be learning something, man. Understanding something. Knowledge. Get your spiritual right. Get your mental right. Get your physical right. Sit down and learn some stuff, man. But I understand you're too busy. Some people, just like they say, some people meant to be workers or broke. Whatever they use. They say what? Well, I'm not saying that what they said. I didn't say that. But I've been on too long for y'all, man. I just want to say, you worry about your credit score, man. Worry about your credit profile, man. Start looking at things that's on your credit. Start fighting them things, man, and start paying them. You got to learn how to pay your bills, bro. You got to learn how to just not getting played. I mean, it, you should be sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling you. It's no easy fix. You don't have to get right, just right, period, man. Go pay your bills. Start paying your bills. Start with that. Start taking your bill of budget. Follow these steps. Stop trying to get over and go above somebody like you got something to show that you... You run, hey, I'm telling you, it ain't going to get you nowhere. You're going to lose a lot of money, a lot of time. And you out there, so you don't even know why you want these things. That's why I say people want things to show other people, man. It ain't, And that's how you drive yourself crazy. You trying to show somebody, don't really give a damn about what you're doing. Don't care. You can't be doing it for your kids. And then you're teaching them something wrong. Then you got kids out there still. I can't believe like people still putting stuff in their kids' name. I didn't know they did. Not. I know they did that back in the day, but people did, still doing that, putting stuff in their kids' name and stuff, I guess. But what are you doing all that for to show what? And we get on here telling you, man, what you can do and believe, man, and how things happen. I got a call today. I was so excited about one of my friends, man. They about to do some big things. And just like, it's just, it's just got most high confirmed, man. Confirmation, man. It's confirmation. She called to tell me that, man. And I didn't even know she was listening to me, man. She, what she was saying. I'm like, oh, my God. Listen here. Thank you. Good to hear that. I appreciate that. But it's done. I appreciate y'all that want this view, but you want to go on, go on word on the street. You want to get in, say, I want to get in, but, you know, y'all, hey, go learn yourself, figure it out yourself. I'm not mad at nobody, man, but it's time to go. Because I'm a, see, I can put all this stuff in a little ebook. I can, man, I'm telling you, man, I can present this stuff so good and put it in a box and sell it. I can sell it, man. 
Cause we ain't gonna read nothing. We ain't gonna look for nothing. We ain't, we gonna. Uh, I know it. I talk to people. Blind man. But hey, it's a game. Knowledge is power, man. Go learn something, man. And I ain't any for you, man. If you got kids, man, you put them out of the world. You see these kids up there committing suicide. We see these kids going out there shooting up things, man, because they lost because we ain't putting nothing in them. See, they've been in school getting everything. My mama do everything. They've been giving them everything. They don't have to work for nothing. They get out in that real world, and you ain't putting nothing in them because you don't know nothing, and they lose their mind. They depress. Because they're looking at their friends and neighbors. They're supposed to say, oh, I'm supposed to have this and have this at this time. And no, you don't because you ain't did nothing. You think you're supposed to be getting your hat? No, no. Especially not on my dime. You ain't supposed to be doing nothing on mine. This is mine. That's why I tell my kid, hey, you like riding that car. You like riding, taking another man. Take, that's mine, boy. You got to get yours. I ain't sending that false present to him. Now, you wouldn't learn how to do it, but it ain't going to happen overnight. And that's what we want. We want some microwave shit. We want to be given. Oh, it's going to happen right away. And don't want to put no time in, no work in, man. And you want to look at me like, that's why I tell my homegirl, I say, man, you know what? It's crazy. People tell me everybody ain't got that. Like, like I'm crazy. Like, because I, I, the things I want is crazy. It ain't that I'm crazy. Just y'all just limit. Your mind is limited. You don't believe in yourself. I believe in myself and I'm crazy. I believe in my people and I'm crazy. I believe in group economics, and I'm crazy. No, I'm crazy for being around the people I'm with that don't see it. They don't. They limit it. I'm not crazy. The people I'm with, the people I'm wrong, the people I'm trying to give it to. I understand. If somebody told me long to keep you wasting your time. I believed in you. I want to help you. Mama told me, you can't say the word. I, I, I believe I could. I believe I could make a difference. I, I made a difference. I want to be a difference in somebody's life. I do. And I don't help people, but I see. You like the training. You got to stop. You come to the end. Because you don't want nothing, man. You want to sit there, complain, blame everybody else, make excuses. And man, the world, they, 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 I'm telling you, I see why other races laugh, laugh at us, man. For real. I'm not I'm serious. I, was, I understand now. It's too much out here, and they laughing at us, man. And it's just, I ain't say my mama the kid, you call people lazy. And I'm not, yeah, we not, I'm not the only one saying it. We are, man, because it's too much out here. And just for the say, ain't nobody like, well, Keith, you know, everybody ain't got but you. Like I was saying, I've told him, I say, I guess that's why I name, I'm amazing, bro. That's my name, Amazing Keith Fletcher. I done got some superpower all of a sudden that I just know something and I'm just amazing. And wow, it's just amazing. I've walked and got some kryptonite uh, and it turned me into something else. I don't know what it is, but I don't, man. And the ones that don't do it, they hate. And, I'm, and I, I don't know why I'm trying to, I'm, like I said, I ain't doing nothing but telling you for, for free. I'm trying to uplift you as your pastor do, as your family member do. I'm just trying to lift you and tell you what you can have and what you give, and that's it. And I was simply saying, put a like on, give encouragement, so I can keep going. Cause I'm paying for this information. I pay for it, and I come give it to you for free. And while I was doing it, the Most High was blessing me, and I was trying to bless y'all. Cause you don't know it. I know you don't know it. And you can sit up there and lie and say you do. You don't. And that fear, that's all fear is unknown. So I wish y'all, man, I say, word on the streets, Mondays and Wednesdays. Hey, we dropping that, man. Dropping Mondays and Wednesdays. Again, Elite Expression 180. Shauna Bertram, man, she started her business, man. That's our baby. And it's for real, man, we happy for her. She starting on her venture. I got my other friend. I don't know if I can say her name. She going on a venture, man. She just called me today. And, man, she about to, she stepping out in faith and got her money, and she about to start something, man. We laughing and talking, and I just enjoying it. I've been knowing her for years. She called it, man, I'm, I'm loving that. I love it. And see, that gave me, show me that what I'm doing, what I'm saying is true, and people need that, man. Encouragement, cheering, you know what I'm saying? So people need that in their life. So, come on, we're going to be coming soon, man, at different avenue. We're going to have a different point i got some things i'm working on so man you want to get on word on the streets that's the group say i want in destroy and they will let you in but no more free access to you baby i wish y'all well 
I wish y'all asked that, man. You see the picture, man, my wife and the kids. Now you see that, see me and the dogs, but everything going through that, man. It's all, hey, man, start moving, man. Get yourself together. Stop doing that hustling. Stop trying to fix that hustling pain, man. Come on, do it the right way. Stop blaming everybody else, man. Believe in yourself. God gave you everything you need that's inside you. Stop letting get making everybody else rich, man. It's time to make yourself rich. The kingdom is inside you. That's where you store your stuff up. You. You are the kingdom. So, man, I'm telling you, go build everything you have, you have right there. And things be so close to you, man. It be right there in front of you, man. It be right there, You, but you, your mind is so wrapped up in trying to get some other BS, man, and it's right in front of you. It's so clear. Somebody in there cooking breakfast. Hey, who is that? Somebody in there cooking breakfast. But hey, man, I'm going to let y'all go. I know I went on too long. I went on a rant. 10 o'clock. But I'm telling you, that credit, man, look at your credit profile. Go to uh, annual, you get three three credit reports, man. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to put it in a, uh, put it on Word on Streets in a link. I'm going to put that link. I'm going to put the Weber, the Weber link for the free stock. I'm also going to put uh, uh, the annualcreditreport.gov going to put that in the, uh, so you can get your three credit reports and they are for all three credit trans union and you start looking on your stuff and start checking your credit report because it happened to me man I looked at it and I was like man what they talking about it was six dollars too there they said I owe six dollars and I was late three months in a row I was like wow but hey I don't look at no points I look at the credit profile because that's what the bank gonna look then it depends what you're trying to get you're trying to get a car are you trying to get revolving credit? Are you try, trying to get a home? It's different things, different lanes, what you need to do to understand it. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know. And the first lane is, look, man, I really don't know. Because what you're doing, you're doing all these scheming and doing all that stuff. People, I had people come, man, I got my credit clean, clean sweep. Man, they didn't do me right, man. I pulled the guy. No, no, they did what they told you to do. Now you got to pay for the ag trade lines. Now you don't waste the money. You have to do all that. So, simple stuff, bro. The letters, I ain't going to write the letters. I wrote the letters. I didn't get nothing back. And then I know I'm going to write the letters again. Hey, man, pay it all, bro. Call the creditors. Work something out with them. You had, I asked my daughter that one time. I say, Did you, is that your bill? You sure? Yeah. Well, you pay them. Work out something with them. Cause what gonna happen? You gonna get time to some some go wrong. You gonna huh, huh, be right back in the same predicament. Then I told you about getting a budget. Then I told you how much money to save up so you won't be in that predicament again. Then I told you how much to invest in your thing. At a certain age, both age and all that, told you what to do. Told you how to set up a business, all that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff, giving free. Told you, encourage you that you can. But everybody ain't no business for everybody. Everybody ain't got that like shit. I'm, I'm amazing. So they told me that. That's why I can do it, I guess. Then I told you make yourself valuable. If you're going to be a worker, how to be valuable at your job. How to interview. Told you about these things, man. So what you want? Now you must want somebody to give something to you. Then you say, one, but, hey, sir, who have you helped? Then I gave you the testimonies. We want everything given to us. We don't want to put no work. We gonna get a whole. We gonna get with a whole bunch of other people that's complaining and don't want to work and be comfortable and laying in that spirit and saying, "Yeah, don't this feel good? Forget them. They don't know what they're talking about. It's nice and comfortable here. That's what happens. We get with our groups and be comfortable and like that, and then." Things just pass you by. And you start believing that I can't make it. I want to move to another country. Man, we need to go back to Africa. And you don't even know. You never been out of, out of the United States. And you talking about crazy stuff like that. I ain't never seen nothing. What's going on over there? But you saying that. And you heard, man, I heard you can get this man. Get to change your identity and all this. <sighs> just can't just, let's just do it right, man. 
Just get your family and stop listening to what's going on outside. Just work your inside and work your way in through your fam, wife, through your kids, through your family, your mom, your sister, cousin, and work your way in, work your way out to your community. That's what I'm trying to do. But I wish y'all well, man. I want to see y'all word on the streets. We trying to build something up, man. I'm a, I got my partner in the barbershop. He told me to go and get my stuff. He gonna put me in there, uh, doing uh, meeting with people. Man, bro, I'm trying to move that. Somebody hear me? Most high hear me? So we trying to go somewhere, trying to do something. So the ones that supported me, I appreciate you. Looking at my looking at my uh, videos and stuff. So. But man, we gotta get that's the credit stuff. Like I said, the people getting credit cards too. Don't don't even understand, man. If you get a credit card, you get that eighteen months. What you want? What you gonna do with the credit card? See, you just wanna feel a part of something. That's what it is. I'm trying to tell you how to get in a group, but the reason you want it that make you feel like you're a part. I got a credit card, man. I got fifteen thousand on my credit card. I just be sitting there listening to them. Oh, that's so good. What that mean? What you gonna do with that fifteen thousand? You can't use the whole fifteen thousand. Even to say that statement to me, what does it matter? You can't use the fifteen thousand. So what? What's the plan? What you gonna do with it? Do you have the money to cover that fifteen thousand? That's the question. That twenty thousand, that twenty five thousand, that hundred thousand, it's levels. I know people got hundred thousand dollars. What, but what you gonna do with it? That's the question. How you gonna make that money? That's other. See, that's that thing when people say other people money. So that's other people money. How you gonna take that money and make more money from it? But we thinking about poor stuff. Talking about we got a credit card and we gonna go do this and that. We ain't thinking about how can I take this money? Listen to the game. I'm giving you a million dollar game right now. How do I take that money? So if I get a credit card, they say, Keith, you got 18, 20 months to pay this credit card back. I already got to have a plan before I get that card. That means go. Go. On your mark, get set, go. I got 20 months to make this money so it can flip me into something else. That's the only reason it's for. Go. But that ain't what we do. We let it build up. I told you that not pay now, uh, buy now, pay later. That's the next. That's the next big scam. That's the next big scam. They did it with student loans. They did it with credit cards. They did it with the total to note. They did it with the payday loan. They did not. Hey, it ain't nobody excuse but yours now. You can't come here blaming them. Man, they doing. They did it. Rental center, same thing. Rental center, cold, all that stuff is scamming on you, man. Cause they know you personally. That 15, 20 percent, ain't no rich paying, no rich people paying that, man. They understand percentages. Who they doing it to? Us poor people. Makita ain't no poor person. I'm a, a middle class. Okay, what you want to call it? Middle class people, they doing it to you. You the one they doing it to the worst because you get approved. So they doing it to you. They doing it to us. Pay your credit card all every month, man. Just keep it simple, man. Stop trying to be all that, man. I'm doing this, and if you use it up, man, pay it out before the statement balance. That's it. That's it. If you, you, I had to max it out because yeah, pay it out before the statement balance. Simple trick. Bam. Go get you some. Uh, build your stuff up, man. Just simple. Stop spending. Pay your bills. You can't go wrong with those things. You don't have to be scheming and figuring that stuff out. That's it. Being scared and stuff, trying to do all this, and you ain't. My credit score ain't number ain't moved at all. I, I know. I asked my ex-wife, he tell her, pay the credit card off. But keep pay it off. Go pay your car off. You got the money. Paid it off. Got our house. Playing these games, man. I got to have money. You ain't had no money in the get-go. You're going to make the money back. If you cut them off, now you can start taking that same money and start putting it up, saving it, build it right back up. 
Now you're paying yourself. That's what they mean, pay yourself. You're not paying nobody else. And I'm telling you, a lot of y'all doing that. Y'all paying these credit cards and playing them games. And you playing games with yourself. It's your emotions in that, man. It's you. I told my partner, man, and he know credit. I said, man, go to Navy Federal. They give you $25,000 credit card. Man, my, man they give you a $25,000 credit card, man. They give it to you. You ain't got to pay it for 20 months, man. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't. Then after everything fell through, oh, I should have listened. Wouldn't listen because he's pride. Don't want to hear from me. He know more than me. I just sit back and do mines. Just sit back. You got to tell you, go put your kids in a yeah, Put the zip code in. Go find your credit union also, man. Get your kids in a credit union. Stop going to the car dealers, getting a deal, getting your loan from a car dealer. Go to the bank, man. You got a relationship. Put your kids on a credit union and get them on and get them established with them. Set up. I told you that also. Get your big stuff done. Get your kids on a, a, a account. Get them established with a credit union. Especially if you work for you, y'all work, y'all put your kids on your credit union, man. Start learning, teaching them about that, man, by uh, being on the credit union. Building a relationship with the bank. You got a bank, man. Stop going to them car dealers. They're going to rape you, man. They're going to pull that. Go use your bank, man. Go to your bank and take the check there with you. But see, people say they know, but I'm telling you, they don't know. You might know, but they don't know. So when I told my daughter, man, she's 20, when I took her to the car, they were like, oh, man, well, how, how did she get it? Hey, fake. There ain't nothing fake. Getting a car. Anybody can get a car, bro. I knew a homegirl had about 100. Her credit was so messed up. I She got 100, some 200 cars. She would one go all come back. She was a house, man. Anybody can get a car, no. From anywhere. The question is to get it the right way. What is the right way to get it? And steps. Car note was used to be five hundred dollars. They didn't want up. Ain't no five hundred dollar car note no more. Is everything over five hundred dollars? Car note, man. See, but what's happening is they're gonna be forced to be see what you really are. Because they said, that's what the economy is going to. It's going to, it's going to show some truth in people. That what do they really have? Because they're going to rich or poor. It's going to show. It's time to stop playing. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to show you, man, what's happening. Inflation, all this stuff. They're playing games. They're trying to take all your money. Now you can't buy nothing. You can't go buy you no know, investment. You can't build your business up. They're trying to hurt you like that. You don't even see it. And I ain't saying no. Who is today? It's system. It's just a system. It don't matter who they is. You letting the system happen to you. Then you're going to blame everybody else, but it's no. You don't want to follow the system. You don't want to follow the rules. You don't want to talk about no money. You don't understand numbers. You want to be honest. But you better get with a group that do. You better get a group that's growing. That's what we're doing right on the street. We're trying to grow together. We're building group. Group, that, group, that, <clears throat> group economics. They got people that go on to school. They just sending their kid to school. They got people that helping them get scholarships, community service. Don't even go. Don't even know. Don't even go to the kid's school. That's what I worry about, man. It's not your oldest people. It's the kids, the young ones that's coming out. Getting them student loans. Following the same trap you found. They got people that's helping people get student, helping them get, uh, uh, what's the name for school? It's helping them, man. Right in your school. They, but you don't know because you ain't been up there to talk. You just running through life. I'm trying to figure it out myself. And your kids want something don't. If you don't want to listen to it, man, pass the videos on to them. That's what I do mine. Every time I send something to them, hey, they might not get it now, but they'll get it. You won't say, when you come to me crying to me, I tell them, hey, when you come here talking about well, that, it's too late. I tried to help you, son. I can't. I give you some information. I can't. I can't. I give you some game. And that's all they really need. A person needs is knowledge. They don't need no money, man. They don't, if you don't know the man, give them some knowledge. See, to put them in the class. Give them information. Put them with the right people. So I'm gone, man. On credit.
know your credit uh, profile. Stop worrying about your credit score, man. Learn your credit profile. Go take care of some of them things, man. Or give it, uh, be with your bill collector. Talk to them. Say, if you're going to pay something off, just all I got, I need a letter saying that I'm going to pay it off. Send it to me. You're going to take it off my credit. Go fight for you, man. Ain't nobody going to fight for you, man. You fight for yourself. Go fight for yourself, brother, sister. But that credit card, man, that credit card tearing you up. 15 or 20 man you can't get think about that if you was getting 15 percent or 24 percent interest on your money ooh, woo! i'm about to be a man i'm about to become a, that's why people tell me i get in the bank i'm about to start getting loans out to you soon if that's what y'all want to pay like that man let's oh i need to get our, our group need to get together quick so we can go ahead and become a, a bank for our people so we can start taxing them like that giving they giving money away like that and see when i say do a budget you like i can't do a budget I can't save no money. But you giving money like that away. But you can't. But I'm just talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I don't see what I hate, man. I wish y'all the best. Again, we're going to be on Word on the Streets. Uh, group Word on the Streets group page. If you want to get in, send a message. I want in. And, hey, we'll come on in. That's where we're going to start dropping everything at. You know what I'm saying? Start putting, feeding people the right way. Feeding our group. You got your group. We got our group. You want to be a part of the group, all you got to do is say, I want to get in. Hey, man, you got a business. We're going to try to do some things. I still there. I do commercials, man, and you got things going on, man. We do uh, blogs. You can do blogs about things. And uh, 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 Shonda Bertrand, man, she's doing her business, man. I'm telling you, man, hey, I, that's, that's big for us, you know. Got my brother, he doing his business. We, Man, my wife, got she got going on, and... Uh, I got another friend. I got man John. He got trucking companies going. We got people got trucking companies. I got my partner with the dogs. You know, just my uh, construction with my partner with the construction. Man, I just hey, it's a network. You know, say so your network will grow your net worth. You grow your money, man. That's how you grow. And you want to grow? We trying to feed you and grow, but we ain't growing out here no more. For this. We gone. I wish you well, man. Whatever you endure, y'all have. But man, learn some stuff. Knowledge is the power. Knowledge is the power, baby. And then I'm going to tell you, you want to be around people that ain't scared. Want to sit there in the, sit there in the office, sit on the computer, talking about what they going to do, and reading books, and they ain't move nothing. They ain't put nothing together. They won't even put nothing with what they found. And they go find some strangers. Why are you going to go find some strangers? You got a group of people right there around you and working and stuff. You want to work with your family, but they smart. Ask them. What's that? That's what you do. Say, what's your credit score? <sighs> Why you ask me that? Ask them. Ask them what they're doing with that credit score. <gasps> well, uh, ask them. Ask them how much they're paying for that car note. Ask them why they don't have a house. That's why they don't have no investment. Why? Just start start asking them questions like that. We need to start holding people to accountable right there. Then we'll start growing. Ask them. See, now you don't keep everybody. This is what I help keep everybody. I was laying on my sofa. I was on my daddy's sofa. Ain't nobody coming to give me nothing. My, my family, ain't nobody come to say nothing. I was I was sorry. I, I was left. No air mattress. I had nothing. I met a lady come from Africa. Had nothing. Mexicans come from don't speak no English, have nothing. But how can somebody be mad at these people? I, that, I don't know. Instead, you should be saying, man, let me get a part of that. That dude, he got something inside I need. They got something inside I need. It ain't got to be about no money because I ain't giving no money to nobody. But I'm saying the power of a man being together, somebody and cheering you on and believe, man, let me get that fire that you have. How did you do that? That's what I ask people all the time. The one I love to speak to people to be, man, how did you win it? Overcame cancer. Stage four cancer. Come on, man. Nine blind and still trying to do something. Come on, man. I got kids and shit. I got to encourage them. And you sitting there talking about what you can't do, what you ain't going to do, what you just don't want to do. Then you're going to tell, well, this is what works for me and somebody is doing it. And you have nerve to tell them what works for you. And you ain't got nothing. They got it. They doing it. You have nerve. Come on, man. We are messed up, bro. And I'm, I'm just telling you, like, Keith is going out. But it's think about that. 
that somebody will take their time out to tell you something, give you something to help you win in anything. We all need, especially with these kids and our spouse, our marriage, anything somebody in this world give you something, and you have nothing to say that. Come on, man. I'm vitting, but I just got to give it. It's the last day I'll be giving on here anyway. So, hey, I love y'all, man, but I got to get the truth. Y'all said y'all want somebody real. I done heard people, man, you don't know what's real effect. This is the real of this come. I am real as it is. This is it. I'm excited, man. I'm excited about the new year. I don't worry about what's going on outside. I'm excited about the new year. If you ain't excited about the new year, look in the mirror. It's your fault. It's nobody's fault. And know what happened to you, this and that, and what, no, it's your fault. Lack of knowledge. And you know somebody's going, go say, hey, man, I don't know. Stop saying what you know and what works for you because you think you're going to get it your way. You ain't getting it your way. You don't get the right to get it your way. Humble yourself. I done humble myself so much, I'm telling you, I don't even know who I am anymore. Humble yourself. Took that pride away. Once I separate all that from that, that's when you grow. So let's grow together. Take care, man. Wish y'all well out there. Hey, when an ant, do like the ant do. When it's winter, think about summer. When it's summer, he's building for winter. Follow the ant, man. It works. I'm telling you. Go read in the Bible. Everything in the Bible you need is in that Bible, man. And for you to talk about how you know it's real, hey, trust in him. I don't trust none of y'all. I don't trust no man. I trust the most high. I trust in him, and I believe in him. And I know he has stirred me. Hey, he took me this far when I was a fool. He brought me to this point right here. So I trust him. And that's all I can do. After that, if something happened, everything meant to be. I give all my glory and honor to him. So I'm doing what he say do. So I can't do nothing but grow anyway. It don't even matter about you. It matter about him. So stay, stay, stop worrying about that trust. Get your heart right, mind right. You live right. Fix yourself, man. Stop looking at what everybody else doing wrong and do wrong by you. Do right by yourself. Get yourself together. And once you get yourself together, it doesn't matter what nobody can do. No matter what nobody did. It don't matter if they money. It don't it doesn't matter for real. It's that's peace. I'm telling you. Fix yourself. Then when you fix yourself, then go pray for the next your wife, your kids, pray for them and talk to them and try to get them something. They after that you don't receive it. Hey, you good. Hey, all blessing to the most high man for real. That's all I can say. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes every day, but I wake up in the morning and ask him for forgiveness, man, for what I have done. Ask for repentance because I know I ain't perfect. And I know some kind of way I offended somebody or said something that I shouldn't have to say. So, Lord, please have mercy on me and forgive me for what I said if I offended anybody in any kind of way. But the ones that needed it, needed it. Hey, y'all have a good one. <laughs>